I'm John Skinner, and this supports my book, Striper Pursuit, and you can learn more about the book at striperpursuit.com. In this video, I'll be using the 6-inch Tsunami Talking Popper XD. Uh, two modifications I make is one, I remove the split ring that comes on uh, the front eye of the plug. Second, I replace that rear single with a treble and a heavy-duty split ring. And I just do that because I feel it's a more secure connection. Okay, so this is early October, eastern Long Island Sound, and there's a few quality fish around. Uh, okay, so what's going to happen here is going to set up what I'm going to do afterwards. Right there, that twitch, and you, you may not have noticed it. Uh, you probably couldn't see what I saw on the end of the line, but there was a huge bulge behind the plug. So I know uh, there's a quality bass there. And, um, you know, it's, it's not like it used to be where I'm going to have multiple fish per trip. I'm going to get one or two opportunities for, per trip, so um, I need to make the most of it. Now, that was a an aggressive bulge, but he never touched the plug, so I'm pretty confident um, I've got a chance of getting this fish. So what I'm going to do uh, when I bring the plug in is um, I'm going to adjust my drag basically for that fish in that particular spot. I know I've got boulders just to the left of where that thing blew up. I know it's a big fish. I'm going to be really careful, get that drag as tight as I can um, without it breaking the line. But uh, you know, if I hook that thing, i got to make sure I get it out of there. Um, all right, the next cast kind of fluttered a little bit. I got a, cl a crosswind. I didn't quite get it where I wanted. Next cast was on target, and I'll uh, narrate. Um, yeah, after this fish is done. That's a bass. Come on. Stay on. Come on. Come on. Stay on. Gotta get some more feet on the reel. Oh, stay on. Stay up. John, stand up. Oh, yeah. Tension of harming you. Don't want to hurt you. Don't want to hurt you. Okay. Okay, and the plugs that I use in this spot, I actually use the 6X strong VMC hooks. Um, because you know, if I don't move that fish out of that location where they tend to hit, um, I'm going to get cut off. I mean, they don't have to even take line. They just need, need to move uh, to my left and go down. And uh, you know, I've been beaten a few times in there on, on big ones like this. And yeah, this is a really good one. Um, and uh, I'm not even going to take it out of the water. I don't know. This seems to be less and less bass all the time. So... Uh, do the best I can to make sure this guy's going to be just fine. But oh, it's definitely over 30 pounds. There's no question about that. It is definitely not 40 pounds, but it's definitely over 30. And um, real happy to get that. And, um, yeah, I'm going to take a little time. The water's kind of warm. I think it's like 67 degrees. It's certainly comfortable when I put my hand in it. Um, so 
Gonna make sure he, yeah, he gets uh, gets going pretty well here, and I keep getting fouled up with my. I got some current here. Plug keeps drifting over it. Um, but yeah, this was when I switched arms here, and he wanted to see that. Yeah, he wants to go, so that's good. You know, I know he's in good shape, and then he's gonna do that again. He wants to go again, so uh, all right, yeah. So I'm, I'm I'm happy with that. He's gonna go. So all right, that was fun. And that was the only opportunity I had that trip. Um, felt like there was one fish there. This is the next morning, everything the same. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna get one chance and uh, gonna, gonna have to stick them good. Okay, so let's, let's hook this up and then I'll talk a little bit. Okay, the rod is uh, a nine foot two inch, it's a John Skinner rod, Lama Glass is making them. Uh, right now, I believe the only shop that's an exclusive uh, at J&H Tackle, Oakdale, Long Island. The reel is a Pen Slammer 3 6500. I really like this reel, I mean, come on, I own a Van Stall 200, I own a Torque 5. Um, and I still choose this reel. It's very smooth. The drag is excellent. I wish it didn't have a bail, but eh, the bail isn't so horrible. Um, it keeps the water out well. Uh, yeah, I, so it's what I'm using. The line is 30 pound test spider wire stealth, and that's the line I definitely want around rocks. Um, and at the end, I've got about a 40 inch liter of 50 pound test trilene big game green for the liter material. Uh, the braid is joined to the liter with a uh, Tsunami Central barrel swivel, and I've got a tactile angler's clip 75 pound uh, to connect the plug. A couple things I really like about the uh, this plug the Tsunami Talking Popper XD. Uh, the distance is great. The other thing is, boy, the, the fish really seem to connect up with it very well. They don't push it out of the way. They grab it. And like I've mentioned, I'm not getting a lot of chances here. So I, I need to convert them. And uh, so this is the plug that I'm choosing to, to attempt to do that with. Okay, and both of those big fish were landed in a minute and 40 seconds. And that's one of the cool things about this rod. I mean, it's enjoyable with schoolies. But if you have to move a big fish, you can do it. All right, so this is another really nice one. Uh, it's not as big as the one I had the evening before, but it's up there. It's it's a real good one, boy. If I could catch, you know, I'm complaining about one or two hits per trip, but yeah, if this is what I get, I'd be very happy with that. Okay, we're gonna go send this one on its way, and I hope you enjoyed this. And thanks for watching.